Hey Bluebird friends, it's Mrs. B, and I have another drawing project for us to do today. We are actually going to learn about dream catchers today. So I got some fun facts about dream catchers for us, and we're going to draw one together. Let's go! So the dream catcher originated from the Native American Chippewa tribe. They were based off a legend of the Spider Woman who took care of children and people of the tribe. They were made from many natural materials, including feathers. Owl feathers were used to bring wisdom, and eagle feathers were used to bring strength and courage. The purpose of a dream catcher is to catch all of the bad dreams inside the web. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to use a regular sized piece of paper and a pencil. I grabbed these wipes because I'm going to use it to get a perfect circle. You can use a cup or anything that you can find that is round and trace it. So just like this, we've got our circle right here. I'm going to darken this line up just a little bit. So we are actually going to put a very light horizontal and vertical line in here just like this. This is going to help us get our radial design. So right here in the center I'm making a teardrop shape and I want the round parts to touch right in the middle of my circle just like this. Now I'm going to draw another one and I'm going to put the point right here where we connect it to the outside of our circle and we're overlapping just like this. That round part, they all are gonna touch right in the middle. Good job. Now, I'm going to do another small circle for the edge of my dream catcher right around like this. It's okay if it's not quite a perfect circle. We're just gonna try our best. Awesome. Now, we've got the main part of the dream catcher done. Let's add our feathers and our beads. So I'm going to put three marks right here on the bottom. This is going to help me find where I'm going to put my feathers. I'm going to go ahead and put three circles. This is going to be our beads. I'm going to put two, three circles here and just two in the center. I'm going to balance this out here. Maybe you want to put some more beads and that's fine. Maybe you want a longer string for your feathers and that's fine too. And now here at the end, I'm making another big teardrop shape. This is going to be our feathers and I'm going to add just a little bit more beads here in the center just because I want this to hang down a little bit lower. So on all three, I put these teardrop shapes. Now. Let's add some more detail to make this look a little bit more like feathers. We're going to just add a few little edges here on the sides. This is going to make our feathers look a little bit more natural. And you can put these little notches wherever you want on your feathers. We're going to add the center and I'm adding just a few diagonal lines just to give it some detail. I'm going to do this again on my feather here in the middle. And remember, these little notches in your feathers, you can put them wherever you like. You can make them how big you like because everyone's feathers are going to look a little bit different. They're all not going to look quite the same. Even all three of my feathers look a little bit different and that's okay. And I'm going to add my notch here in the middle and there are my three feathers. I'm going to add a little bit more detail here. I'm going to add some more beads. So I'm just going to make some squiggle lines here between my feathers and I'm going to add some more beads on this string that I added. And I don't really want them to be even. I'm going to space mine out a little bit just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Now I think I'm going to take some of these beads and add a few beads up here in my hoop. So I'm going to put some beads right here, put about three, I'm going to balance them out right below. And now I'm going to make this symmetrical and I'm going to put three beads here right across from it and three beads across from the top. And there we go. There is our dream catcher. Good job guys. Now let's do the next part. So for this part, I'm going to use a Sharpie because I'm actually going to watercolor mine. 
but if you don't have watercolors, you can use just regular markers or crowns even. But the first thing I'm doing is outlining all of my pencil marks to make sure that I've got a nice dark outline so I can see my dream catcher because I don't want to lose it in my watercolor here. So after that, I'm going to erase any pencil marks that are poking out from underneath our lines. Now that that's done, we can start watercoloring. So I'm using my watercolors here and I'm starting out with my feathers. I'm going to use my warm colors, which are the reds, the oranges, and the yellows to color in my feathers here. And remember, I'm using watercolor, and when we use watercolor, we're using lots of water. I'm also gonna make my beads up here in my hoop with my warm colors so that they match my feathers. And I'm gonna do some cool colors on my beads down here with my feathers, because I'm gonna use cool colors in my hoop. And our cool colors are the blues, the purples, and the greens. Now you can do whatever colors you like. Maybe you want to switch them up and you want to do it different than Mrs. B and that is perfectly okay. Now I'm making my hoop blue right here and I'm actually going to watercolor the inside of my web too just to make it a little bit more interesting and add some more color to it. All right guys, we did it, good job. We have made our dream catchers. So, what colors did you use? Did you use warm and cool colors like I did or did you use a different type of colors? What type of feathers are hanging off of your dream catcher? Are they owl feathers or eagle feathers? Let me know what is on your dream catcher. Share with me your finished dream catcher on our Facebook page. Until next time, it's a great day to be a bluebird. Bye.